Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was provided to us by Natural State Transparency, so go check out his channel when you can. Now, I've got a special treat for you. Chili Day Castro wanted to come on the channel and show us how tyrannical cops can be. He's seen this video personally, and he wants to let us know that this is not going to go so well for the civilian involved. So, he just wants to be the commentator for this video today. So, please give it up for Chile de Castro, a.k.a. Delete Laws. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This uh, tyrannical officer has gotten the scent of an innocent pedestrian. Yeah, I know I use pedestrian on a moron, aren't I? Chile de Castro is never wrong, though. And if anybody ever tells me so, and if anybody tells me that I am wrong, then they're in for a lawsuit. I will sue them for five billion dollars. You know what, for the sake of transparency, let's go ahead and skip all the boring stuff and just see what this tyrannical officer is going to do with this innocent civilian. I am sure he's going to end up in a dungeon somewhere. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. You know, I know for a fact that this poor civilian pedestrian didn't buy the trifold because if he had, he'd be using it right now, and that cop would be walking away right now, doing the walk of shame. But if you want the trifold, just send me your soul and about oh, $50. So let's continue on with the show. Because I want to show you what you get when you don't have that trifold in your possession. It's going to lead you down a dark road. And that is a guarantee. Good. Good. Trooper Bates with the State Police. Up your speed today. I got yes, you at about sir. 76 and 55 zone. Got your license registration yes, issue. I apologize. I'm just trying to get home. You're good. Where are you heading to? Uh, back to Salem. I got you. So, I'll be over. Just visiting my daughters. I got you. Where at? Over there in Hoxton. Okay. Yeah. This is actually a work vehicle, so... I got you. Is it a company vehicle, I guess? Yes, sir. Uh, who's the company that it comes back to? Uh, Triple S Gutters, or it's going to come back to Justin Taylor. Okay. But it might come back to Amy Taylor, I don't know. I got you. Just one, one of them? Yes, sir. No, 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 no. You're doing it all wrong, dude. You're not supposed to be answering questions. You're supposed to be pleading the fifth, and you know you're not supposed to be giving him the ID. I mean, that is all wrong. You should have bought my trifold, and then you would have been in a better position. Even if it's an old Keeping one, that's fine. Yeah. Like I said, as long as it belongs to the vehicle, that'll help me out. Yes, sir. I don't know if it was in here somewhere. I'll let you keep looking. Well, there it is. And then the insurance. Okay. I'll let you keep looking for that. Like I said, I'll see if I can get it pulled up. Most of the time I can. Okay. I just ask for it in case my technology is not cooperating with me. So hang tight for me. Well now, without my trifold, he's definitely up the creek without a paddle. Now that he has not been able to provide any of the appropriate 
paperwork that the the officer apparently required from him, even though it is a violation of every law in the country. We shouldn't be asking for it to begin with. Uh, but that's besides the point. Now that he can't provide any of this paperwork, the officer is going to call for backup, and they're going to come and haul him away. That's for sure. That's how things go down, according to me, Chile de Castro. They're going to haul him off to the dungeon, and they're never, you're never going to see him again. <laughs> Now, of course, the officer's going to have to wait on backup to arrive because, according to him, this is an evil tyrant that has got to be taken down. But we all know who the tyrants are. It's the officers. There's none of them that are any good. And this will prove it. This will be one piece of the puzzle that I'm always seeking. This will show you how evil they are. So let's skip ahead to when they drag him out of his car. Many unbearable hours later. All right, here's your information back. All right, so I'll explain what I got here. Okay, I got two things. I got a, a ticket and a warning, all right? Yes. So it's gonna sound a little weird. I didn't write you a ticket for the speed. That's what I care about. I wrote you a ticket for failing to display your vehicle registration. So that registration that you gave me yes, sir. is fine, but if you look at the back of it, it's not signed by the registered owner. Uh, I know that you're not the registered owner, yes, but it still falls under failing to display it. I know that sounds weird. I don't care about that at all, but I wrote it that way because a speeding ticket is a much bigger ticket yes, sir. and it affects your insurance. Okay. Yes, sir. This way it doesn't because this isn't a moving violation and it's a smaller ticket. All right. I did it this way because try to help you out because you don't have a bad speed history. Okay. Yes, uh, so that's why I wrote it that way. Again, it looks weird. I don't care about the registration at all. I just wrote it that way to try to help you. I care about the speed. So slow down for me. If you do want to appear to court on this, that's fine. That'll be the court date and time if you choose to do so. If you have any questions, you can call that phone number at the do bottom. I, do I have to appear? You don't have to. So you can either pay that before that court date and not appear, or you can go to that court date and take care of it that way. Either way, it's up to you. Okay. Again, any questions, you can call that phone number at the bottom, or you can even go to the website on the back, okay? Yes, sir. Outside's the citation, inside's the warning for the speed, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions for me? No, sir. I mean, slow down for me, have a safe rest of your trip, okay? Next time, I'll have to do a speeding ticket. Yes, sir. All right, be careful. Um, okay. Chili just walked off in a uh, pissy mood. Like he thought that this was going to go his way, that, uh, well, he believed all cops are absolute tyrants. And, well, this doesn't really fit his narrative, so he's off in a corner pouting somewhere. Uh, well, maybe we can get him back one of these days. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I am sure that my impression of Chile was not that great to begin with. I don't do impressions very well, but this was meant for comical purposes, and if you didn't enjoy it, well, I'll still be here, and I'll be doing another one one day. I'll probably get better at it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.